Hi guys, this is Lisa from the Barnyard Chicken, and I have just a quick share with you. I was um, getting my stuff together to make a journal, to work on a journal, and um, so as I was getting my papers ready, I picked up some of this paper, and I said, I was just taking the paper out, like, um, I sat here, and I pulled all 40 sheets out of this, so they would be ready to use and um, this one is the sketch pad and I also pulled all of the papers out of the drawing pad and um, I pulled some of the papers out of this book but it's stapled here at the end it is glued and then it has two staples which is crazy so I'm gonna have to work on that later but anyway back to what I was doing I um, just got some wild idea I said you know what why don't I try and uh, I was just thinking to myself and I'm like you know I can't coffee dye everything and then it takes too much time and um, so anyway, uh, I said, well, you know what, I um, did this before. I coffee dyed a bunch of different pages, and then I scanned them into my computer and saved them on to my computer. That way I could print them out when I needed them. So I said, you know what, I'm going to take some of this paper. I'm going to take some of this paper right here and um, see how it would work if I... Uh, printed the coffee dyed paper on there so this is my result and when I first printed it I said oh yeah look there is a, an edge it doesn't print to the edge I don't know what printer I had before but I had a printer that printed to the edge but apparently it's not this one I may not even have it anymore and anyway overall I think it looks really good and so uh, I tried to uh, I mean look it looks exactly like it was wet right there I mean it printed so amazing and this is just normal this is on normal it's not even on best or nothing so anyway uh, I printed this one and I said we well, you know what maybe if I center the paper that uh, I'll have less edges so I tried to center the paper and I have no edges I centered the paper and I had no edges, but it didn't like that. And it crinkled the paper as it went through. It didn't like to be in the center. You can snug it up on one side, but it didn't have double snugs like some printers do. It only had a snug on one side. So when I moved it to the center, there was nothing holding this side. So you can see it's all wrinkly, which I think is great. It's still fine. And I have a little border at the bottom. And you can see how wonky it went. But it's all the way here. And then I noticed these little ink spots. And I'm like, huh. Well, I don't know what that's from. But this is pretty cool. And I thought, you know, this is more than fine. So I just said, you know, I'll just line it back up all on one side. And then that's when I noticed this. These little prints. I don't think that that's anything wrong with that. But I'm thinking that it did something here the ink puddled up and then dripped over here so I just went ahead and said you know what I'm just gonna print 10 of them I like it it looks really good let's go with it anyway look at them I think they're really good this is a uh, I printed these I pushed them all to one side and I printed them on normal this is normal print and uh, it's really great. This is the back side, and they really do look um, coffee dyed. It's amazing. I cannot believe how well they turned out. So they're all the same. They all have this little edge, which I decided to line it up on this side, and I could cut that edge off. But if I lined it up on this side, I would be too close to that hole. So I wanted the white side on this side. So if I decided to cut it off, it's over here. So I can just trim a little bit off all the way around it or leave it. I don't know what I'm going to do. But it's so amazing. I cannot believe this actually looks like coffee was puddled up on it. It is super amazing. Anyway, 
they're all the same. They're all the same. I do have other ones that I that I uh, I made a whole stack of them, and I scanned every single one into my um, computer. And um, but I only this is these are all the same print. I know I've said that five times, right? But they're just amazing. What do you think about it? You think that these are pretty cool? Look, so here, look, the the hole wasn't completely out, so it folded over, and so it's a white spot. But, you know, because this is that cheap Dollar Tree paper. You know, I paid a dollar for this at the Dollar Tree. And you know what? Other people have it for 88 cents, like Kroger's and stuff. But anyway, there they are. I'm, I'm just so happy how well they turned out. And, um, I mean, it, it just feels coffee dyed, I'm just saying. Because, you know, it's real thin, cheap paper. And oh, it's just beautiful. It's so beautiful. I just hope you can see what I'm seeing. Anyway, so I printed uh, 10. After I printed the first two, then I printed 10. Anyway, that's it, guys. This is Lisa with the Born Yard Chicken. Sending all my love and my hugs. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Tell me if you've ever done this before. And I will eventually have all of these files available for you guys. And uh, that way, if you want to make your own, you can do that. But um, I have already... I, I actually did that very, many months ago. I'm going to say maybe even a year ago, way before the flood, but I haven't been able to do a lot since the flood. But anyway, guys, this is Lisa with Born Your Chicken. Sending all my love at the hugs. And like I said, it's just this cheap Dollar Tree paper that I got this week. Okay, guys, I'm out of here.